Hello. Oh, I've got I've got dog hair in my mouth. <laughs> okay, hi everyone. Not that anyone's there, I don't think, at the minute. <laughs> but, hello. Uh, I'm just setting up. So, bear with. Okay, that's that bit done. And I thought, rather than looking at the side of my ugly mug, I might as well just show you some of the bits and bats. Okay, and I need to click on that. <coughs> Come on, play. It's not playing. Okay. Fair enough. Fairy snuff. Computer's also on a go slow, which is just what you need, isn't it? Right. Whilst I'm uh, just waiting for the computer to catch up with where I'm at, uh, I have just taken delivery of uh, another Shih Tzu. <laughs> I'm dog sitting tonight so um, you may hear them play fighting in a bit uh, although Alfie does miss his mummy so he's not quite as exuberant as when his mummy is about so there might be lots of running up and downstairs once he gets settled right come on computer no it's definitely on a ghost slow okay let me just see about this is stupid that like I cannot get I cannot get it to go sideways um, like I used to have it right live chat there we go so um, as I've explained I think in the previous live that I did uh, I am Finishing doing the pop-up shop on my Facebook group. So you won't see any more of these types of lives and videos. Um, the main reason being that it, it just takes up so much time. So much time um, sourcing the products then packaging them up then doing this video then um, doing the pop-up shop itself then completing the orders it's a good two to two and a half weeks if not three sometimes of getting that done and ready and that time that i'm not spending making videos and finishing off all the projects that i've got to get done so this is the very last one so there's some odds and sods uh, that i've packaged up um, to clear the decks of all the products that i've got left um, there are some lovely items and they're all going to be at a good price all right they're not going to be cheap because i can't i can't afford to you know do them like sale price cheap um, but they will be of a good price because there are some things that I'm going to be doing or that you'll see in a bit that I would normally charge more for. Now the pop-up shop for if there's anyone new here and hello if you are new, thank you for joining us. Uh, it is run on my Facebook group um, and it runs from sa this Saturday morning. It was always once a month on a Saturday morning through until Sunday evening and it's all on a first come first serve basis so if you put your name next to the product to say that you want one then it's it's yours if, if there's still some available uh, if we go beyond what I've got available then I'm sorry you will have missed out okay now I know that there's like a five hour five to an eight hour difference uh, more if you live in Australia stroke New Zealand I do post internationally 
obviously I charge you for the postage for that as well. Um, but let's get down to sort of what's what. Move those out of the way because those were for my picture anyway. So these are the colours of seam binding that I've got left. Now I'm going to hopefully not say this a lot but this is the last of the seam binding. So there's no more. So once all of these have gone then that's it. There's no more and you'll have to find your own source um, to be able to purchase the seam binding. So I'm just going to gather that up and I'll show you the colours. So there is a raspberry, a mushroom, a baby pink, a rust, a gold, a purple, an old gold, a red, and this one is aubergine. So it's actually a, I don't know if you'll be able to see, it looks black. It's not. Um, it's a really, really deep purple colour. Uh, so aubergine. Um, but some of them, as you will see, I've only got a few left of some colours. Um, see, so I've only got four of those raspberry ones left. So those are the seam bindings that's going to be available. Now there's approximately five metres in each pack or in each, you know, thing. Um, and this is a vintage book page paper. So, you know, if you take that apart carefully, then you can utilise that. It's gone very quiet. I think the dogs have gone downstairs. Um, this is the very last of the lace. Now, I can't remember <laughs> how much I put in each pack because I've, I've been packing for a couple of weeks because I've been having a massive sort through of everything that I've got so that I could decide what I was going to package up for this very last pop-up shop. So they're all the same except um, I have put a decorative paper inside the pack. Uh, so each pack has got a different decorative paper in it. But let me just undo one so I can work out how much I put in because I can't remember. All right, hang on, I'm going to have to measure them against me. Right, that's a metre. Oh, sorry. Knocking the phone. There's a metre of that lace, which is very, very pretty. That, that one. Um, and then I think I did a metre of each of these three. So there's a metre of that one. Be wrong have I done two? Oh I've done two meters. Hang on. So there's there's two meters. Hang on, let me measure that one. Two yeah, two meters that one. Right. Meter. Two meters. Two meters. And about half a meter. Okay, so those are the four laces. So there's two, four, five, five and a half meters in each pack there or thereabouts. Now I know that there's a few of those, I think there's maybe about 20 packs of these, but as I say, once they're gone, they is gone for good. So you won't be able to get any more lace from me. Let's see if I can remember, I'll put them back in now. Uh, Right, just hum a little tune to yourself a minute while I pack all these up. I'll try and pack them up so that I am not knocking the phone. In fact, I'll tell you what, whilst I'm not knocking the phone, or while I'm packing these up, I'll tell you a little story. Can you all hear me okay, by the way? Because I can see that there's some of you watching, but no one said hello. Um, so I don't even know if you can hear me. So if someone could please let me know that you're able to hear me okay, that would be much appreciated. Let me just ask the question. There you go. Can you hear me okay? Oh, thanks, Phyllis. Normally I'm used to everyone saying hello, but 
Nobody said hello. I was beginning to think no one could hear me. Okay, let me fold this one back up. So I'll tell you this story. So most of you know that I had breast cancer last year and I had it removed and my breast has now gone and blah de blah de blah. And um, I had to go in for an appointment in. I had to go for a CT scan first and then I had to go in for an appointment for the follow up. And I, my daughter couldn't take me and I, and I don't drive. So I had to go on the bus to Wakefield and uh, I've not been on the bus uh, before from here. So, um, so I caught the bus to Wakefield and then I had to catch a bus from Wakefield to Pinderfields Hospital. So it was an hour and a half's journey um, and I wasn't particularly sure of the buses. So, in fact, I'll tell you what, while I'm telling you my story, I'll pack these away as well. So then I'm all set for Sunday. Um, so I wasn't sure of the buses at all, but anyway, I managed to get there eventually. Hour and a half it took me. And uh, I get all the way there, I trundle into the hospital, uh, goes up to the department... And they went, name. So I gave them my name. And uh, she went, oh, let me just check. Yeah, your appointment was cancelled. I was like, you're joking. <sighs> so I'd trundled all the way on the bus to be told that my appointment had been cancelled. They checked up on it and it, I had they had sent me a letter out. Oh, I put that in the wrong one, sorry. Uh, but I hadn't got it. Um, and it's been moved to the end of April. So I think it's not next week, week after. Hi there, Helen. So I then had to do the hour and a half journey back home. <sighs> Needless to say, was not a happy bunny. <laughs> At all. You leave them alone, you, because I know what you're like. Little monkey and start picking them out. So, yeah, I wasn't very happy about that. Um, fortunately, the bus fare wasn't too expensive, but, you yeah. know, not the point. All right, so I have packed up some charms. Now, I've since found out as well that I can't send met any metallic items to Southern Ireland uh, because of Brexit. They now won't, will not accept anything metallic in the package, which is a bit of a pain in the bum. But anyway, there you go. So I've got some leftover British things. So I've got, um, if I lift it up so you can see, there's a pack of two British buttons, a thistle. A crown, um, a three-leaf clover, I'm afraid, not a four-leaf, and some uh, daffodil charms. All right, so that's the British pack of charms. There's only a few of those left. Then, 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 then. How many have I got then? One, two, three... Oh, I've got four packs of Halloween charms. Now, they might be slightly different in each pack, but I've only got four of these left. So, we've got a hat, uh, pumpkins, a cauldron, uh, a pumpkin face, and a witch's broom in that particular pack. So, I've got four of those packs left. As I say, they might be slightly different in each pack. It depends how many of each item I'd got left. So, yeah, so four packs of the Halloween. What's next? Hi, Sarah. Uh, these were from last, last the last pop-up shop. I've got some of these left over. So I've got three, three. 
three steampunk packs and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven fairy stroke angel packs. I'll show you the fairy stroke angel pack first. Now you won't be able to see these because I've got it on the black card, but there's some little die cut fairies. Put those back in so I don't lose them. And then there's that angel, that one. Fairy on a star, a moon, some words, and some bulb pins. So that's that little pack of charms. And then we'll go on to the steampunk one. Those ball pins, there's some gold, copper, coppery, bronzy colour in there. Gold. I said gold, didn't I? Ha! Repeating myself now. And the steampunky one. So there's these little ends for tassels, tassel ends. So there's one large and four small. Uh, yeah, flower, bow and arrow. Um, a buckle, couldn't think of the word, a key. Again, show you close up. So that's those. You can see now, just me putting these away, how long it takes to package everything up. So I just say there's only three or four of those, three those and then in this one cats and then snowflakes so this is the last of the cat charms and they're all going to be different the cat ones because it was just what I had left so there's two little hearts with paw prints on and there's an enamel cat and then some silver and copper cats as well so that's the cat one there's only a few of those left and then there's snowflakes so if you're thinking of doing um or is it Christmas in Christmas in July, isn't it? That people do Christmas things. So at least you'd be ahead of the game with these. That way around. There we go. See, oh, snowflakes and Christmas trees. So that's those charms. And that's the last of the charms. course you have to count you have to count all of these things out as well so that takes time too right that's all the charms done so I can put them over there out the way let me have a slurp of tea okay now then if you've been a regular viewer um, and participant in the pop-up shop you will know about the mystery boxes so there are two mystery boxes I had a few boxes from previous packs left over I've added more goodies to each of the boxes and there's two types 
Okay, so there's two different, going to be two different mystery boxes. And then I've put some journaling cards underneath that ribbon. So you can use the ribbon and the journaling card as well. And I have shown you an idea of what you could do with the boxes as well in another video. But there's going to be two different um, mystery boxes. Again, there's only going to be a few of them. I think there's maybe half a dozen of one and maybe eight or nine of the other one so there's not many of those but that's that i've got one two three four five six packs of uh cheesecloth so that's them and then there's a bag of paper bags let me move them there to give me a bit more room because we're having it straight on. And I can't remember how many paper bags are in here now. <laughs> there's a lot. I think there's about 20 in total-ish. We'll count them. So there's one of those. One, two, three, four, five. Five British flags. Four British flags. Oh, look, I've lost count already. Start again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I know I did five of these. So that's 16. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, which is that one folded in half, and plus this one, 23. So there you go, 23 paper bags. Hi there, Brenda. Various sorts and sizes. Nice thing I always think about paper bags is it's that crinkly sound, isn't it? So 23 paper bags. Okay, that's them done. Move them onto there because I'm going to need a bit of room for the next lot of goodies. Oh. Okay. So I made up various packs. Slip a tea again, sorry. So this one is a Christmas one. So again, if you're prepping for Christmas in July, uh, you might be interested in getting one of these together with the, the snowflake charms. So there's some ribbon in there. I'm going to be careful about how I part these. There's this um, meshy, metallic -y green stuff. There's a bag with some charms and paper clips in relating to Chrissy Moose. There's a piece of lace. There's some voile, voile, voile. There's some pearlised envelopes. Very, very pretty. I like those. There are some, well, there is a journaling card. Some snowflake paper bags. Father Christmas or Santa paper napkin. Uh, another paper napkin. That's the dogs. White paper bags so that you can put your paper napkins on the paper bags. A green internal envelope. And then at the back, when you turn it over, there's a bag with all sorts of trims in. And then there's some metallic and glitter cards in the back as well. So lots of little bits and pieces that you can be adding to a Christmas journal. Now let's see if I can package this up. Now if I remember rightly, 
there's only three or four of these left. Uh, and then that, there we go. So there's only three or four of those, of the Christmas ones. So I can seal that one up now. And of course these bags that they're coming in as well, come in really handy as well to keep you projecting. Right, so that's that one. Where am I going to put you? Put you on there. There is also, if you're not into, say, traditional uh, Christmas, then there is uh, a pink and blue and silver Christmas pack. Let's just quickly go through this one. So there's some white ribbon with the gold trim along the edge. There's some sequins and flowers there. There's some charms and paper clips in that one. This one has got the red and gold metallic mesh in it. Again, some lace, some papers. There's some blue sparkly tissue paper, some pink sparkly tissue paper. Uh, Paper bag, two paper bags, two white paper bags, uh, a snowflake paper bag, or oh, two snowflake paper bags. Then there is a blue bag, blue spotty bag, with some bits and pieces inside of there. Uh, paper napkin, another paper napkin, and another paper napkin. There is some sparkly card and some mirror card and then there's a bag of trims in there of lace and eyelash trim and ribbons so that's in the more modern day christmas look pack put you all there and you there you there and get you in the bag i think there's maybe i will i will list um, I will list how many there are of each item uh, on in the pop-up shop itself. Oh, I want that that way around. Um, but I have a feeling there's maybe six or seven of this one. What's Brenda put? I'm in a noisy restaurant considering leaving so I can hear. <laughs> but Billy, that wasn't good this morning. I can't read that, but Billy wasn't. Oh, full this morning told me not to leave. You stay where you are, Brenda. Okay, that's that one. Let me just check on these pooches and see what they're up to. What are you touching that you shouldn't be, you two? Uh, don't trust them, you know. Don't trust them. Okay, this little kit has got a signature already in it and a collection of other bits and pieces so there is a file folder so that you could use that maybe as your cover there is a signature already made up for you you can use it as it is or you can um, exchange some bits and pieces or move the pages around but all sorts of different papers uh, in the signature and doilies and Edith Holden pages and map pages um, greetings card there and you've got the same on the other side so that's a signature that's kind of already made up for you if you want to use it as it is there is in addition to that I put in some book pages with some lovely images on and obviously everyone's going to get different book pages um, so you could use those maybe within the signature or on the front cover um, or as flip outs um, as one of those green envelopes uh, there is an American because we tend not to get envelopes like this there is an American or Canadian um, 
envelope with the two windows in because we only ever get, normally get them with one window. So that's that. And then there's a pack of goodies here. So there's, um, oh gosh, there's lots in here. So there's one or two colouring pages. There's a couple of paper napkins. There is uh, a lovely paper bag. Um, it's one of those gusseted paper bags with the fold up on the back with some white uh, print on the bag. There's lace, there's guest checks of various sorts. Um, there's um, <gasps> glassine, a glassine bag. There is uh, some charms, a button, some, I don't know whether that's seam binding or ribbon. Could be seam binding. So there's all sorts of goodies in that little pack. And then, oh, oh, that was it. So that was what's in that one. And as I say, you get a file folder with that pack. Uh, that way. No, that way. So that you can utilise that as your cover. Right, so that's the a journal kit. Maybe, hang on, that's gonna fall if I do that. Bear with me a minute. The two little ones are unbalancing my pile. Now then, this pack is a pack of papers. Various sorts of papers. Again, for you to play with, either in existing journals, I'll show you that way first, um, or you could make a journal from the contents of this pack. So it's got all these various papers at the front, and then it's got all these vintage papers at the back. Okay, so we'll do the vintage papers first, because then I can put those to one side. So there is some very old hymnal um, music papers with the hymns, the words. So there's four sheet pages of that. Some more uh, hymn music sheets. There is some vintage book pages, which are great for tearing up and using the, the text there some larger sheets of music paper and you can see all the patina going on around the edge so you can tell that it's old music paper so you get two pieces of that there's some sheets of um, words with foreign in a foreign language so there's two sheets of that and then these are from a Sears catalogue so there's two pages of Sears catalogue pages and then on the front side so I'll just put those vintage papers away because I don't want them ripping because some of them are a little bit on the delicate side there we go so then uh, there are a couple of the large round paper doilies. So there's two or three of those. Um, these are leftover prints that I've had. Um, so I've included one of those each. Some of you might get some that are slightly different. So there's that, there's the two doilies. There's one, two, three, four uh, pieces of wallpaper which you can use for a cover. As you can see they're really quite fascinating those. Then there's about four sheets of tissue paper. Now I'm not going to undo it. Three or four sheets of tissue paper. That's folded in half. So you can tell you've got the big sheets of tissue paper. Again Great for when you come in to do collage stuff and putting that over the top. And then 
there's some book pages again everybody's will be different um, and there's some of those book pages there's quite a lot of those book pages and then there's some more of these really pretty pages there's some more book pages there with flowers on really nice paper um, a selection of guest checks uh, a hymnal sheet so again it's got the hymns in there um, and a couple of butterfly pages as well so that would be really nice to have as a bit of a, a backup pack to um, use to decorate your journals up. And then, oh, I can't put that there. Let me put that one there. And then this one I made up this morning as I was sorting the last of the bits and pieces up. Um, this was the pack that I put together this morning and then everything that's then left in my other room, not in my craft room, but in the other room, um, is for me to utilise. And the other good thing is that once this pop-up shop is done, um, I'll be able to concentrate more on uh, doing the videos. I know that I owe everyone a video for the Peter Rabbit journal. I've been packaging all of this lot up. So, in this one, there are three of the letter size file folders which ink up beautifully I have to say with the Tim Holtz inks either walnut stain vintage photo in particular is really good um, if any of you watch Roxy Creations she uses this straw paper and you've got five folded in half sheets let me just tell you how big these are um what's that say it's about 12 and a half inches wide by can't see that sideways on uh by 11 and a half inches deep so that's got to be more than let me just check that one again oh god i can't see that Where's that black card from? No, still can't see it. I tell you, I'm going blind. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen and a half inches wide. <laughs> Get there in the end. So, did I put five or ten? No, I put ten. So there's 10 sheets of that straw paper in the pack. Then there are some of those orange um, internal use. Uh, some brown paper bags, a long sandwich type gusseted paper bag, uh, the damask paper bags. Um, this is another gusseted paper bag. Listen to that sound. And there's a couple of pearlised green envelopes. There's a couple of these heart um, envelopes, which when you fold uh, on the score lines, there's this little heart here that closes it up and goes through this hole at the top. So, So those are like that so it's 3d and then it closes by going through that hole so there's a couple of those and then these were to make um confetti so you do sort of that confetti cones um so if you're going to a posh wedding uh, but if you cut them in half then they would actually make quite a nice corner pocket so there's a couple of those so that 
is the last of the packs. I don't think I've missed anything. So, as I say, once it's gone, it is gone for good from me. Now, on the back of this being the last pop-up shop, uh, I do have to tell you, there will be the odd one or two shops uh, coming up throughout the year. The next shop that I'm going to do is not going to be a pop-up shop of all these bits and pieces. The next shop that I'm going to do, which will be next month, beginning of, I hope, um, is loads of items that I've made. All right, so tags, lace sampler packs, um, journals, notepads, all those sorts of things um, that I finished making up because now this is done, I can finish making some of those things up. So let me just show you. Uh, yeah. So you see, I've got all of these types of journals, look, to be finished off. Just little bits and pieces. Most of them will be blank. Um, so it'll be just the pages not decorated, so most of them will be blank. Um, but I've got loads of journals that will be going on sale next month. And as I say, other finished items. Look at that sheep. Look at that sheep, isn't it cute? Um, and then throughout the year, there will be uh, the odd one or two kits for some of the projects that I want to cover on YouTube so there will be a few kits available if you want to work along with me on a specific project but, yeah. we'll talk about that more when I get to that point uh, because I know that I'm going to have to go in hospital for another operation um, mainly in us larger ladies when you have a breast removed you get a lump underneath your armpit it's called the dog ear so they're going to do liposuction on that and then because i've had one breast removed they are going to reduce my other breast so that um it makes me a little bit more balanced because uh, otherwise i end up walking around in circles because i'm weighted on my right hand side <laughs> Um, so there will be that to take into consideration as well over the coming months but I'll keep you updated as to when that's going to happen um, but I want to now concentrate now pop-up shop is done I want to concentrate on finishing off all the projects that I've half started or should I say half finished uh, some are started anyway yeah, so there will be a shop next month uh, just to sell off my made items. So that is this final pop-up shop product. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm going to go for something to eat now because I'm starving Marvin. And I want a hot cup of tea because this one's now gone cold. Has anybody got... Um, any questions that they would like to ask before I disappear? Mum is one of those lopsided ladies walking in circles. <laughs> I know I tilt to me right, and I'm like, if I'm not if I'm not careful, I keep going round and round and round. <laughs> because I have been called a a larger lady. Even my daughter called me that the other day. She went, well, you are a larger lady, Mum. Yeah, cheers. Thanks. Needed to hear that. <coughs> um, okay, it doesn't look... Oh, mind you, there's a little bit of a lag. So I'll just, I'll just hang on for a minute. And... Uh, those dogs are really quiet, so I'm a bit concerned. So the pop-up shop will open at 10 o'clock in the morning, UK time. 
and we'll close on Sunday evening. And again, as per usual, as I said, first come, first served. So if you don't get in there quick, you might miss out. Oh, there is a definite lag on this video. I've just seen myself going like that. There we go, I've just done the thumbs up. That was me talking about my daughter. Okay, so does anyone have any questions or is everyone au fait with how the pop-up shop works and where it is and what time it starts, blah de blah de blah Okay, it kind of looks that way. All right, guys, I'm going to shoot off, go and see to these dogs, go and feed myself some food. And uh, I shall see you all in the pop-up shop tomorrow. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, hang on, I can't read that, Helen. Hang on. Is it a heart in the way? Uh, how packaged are there for the bags, Carol? Uh, I don't understand that. How packaged are there for the bags? Would you like to rephrase that one, Helen? Because it didn't quite come out, I don't think. How many? Can anyone remember how many I counted? Was it about 23? 23, 24, something like that. More than 20. <laughs> Let's put it that way, there's more than 20. <clears throat> there you go, Phyllis remembered, 23. Thanks, Phyllis. Okay, guys, I'm going to shoot. Thank you for joining me again. It's lovely to see you here, and I shall see you all very soon. For those that have supported me in the past with a pop-up shop, I really appreciate it. Um, it has helped me out, out load. How many of the 20 bags are there? Oh, she's retracted it now. Um, I think there's maybe nine. Nine sets-ish, I think. So I can't remember the numbers on everything. But I think there's about nine sets of paper bags. So we're not in the... 10s or 20s but yeah I think there's about nine sets so yeah thank you all for um, supporting me in the past um, the pop-up shop was always my main source of income uh, but I'm hoping that with going back to YouTube I'm hoping that that's going to be my main source of income from now on um, and as I say, once this next slot of operation is over, I should, cross-fingered, be back to normal. Uh, but thanks for joining me. I'm off because I'm prattling. I'll see you all later. Thanks for joining me again. Bye. Tra, love you guys. Bye.